Hey, you want to know how to turn a frown upside down? Make lemonade out of lemons? Turn an art journal page from something you would run away screaming <laughs> from its hideousness into something you could actually stand to look at? That's what I'm trying to do right now. I made a mess on a technique I was trying out. <laughs> it didn't work out too well for me, so... I had tried out a couple of techniques from the surface treatment workshop. I was exploring that further. And it started out really well. I shouldn't have tried to do anything else to it, but of course... I did, made it much worse, and uh, tried to use, Donna Downey has been using a, a lot of techniques lately on her Inspiration Wednesday with uh, glazing liquid, and uh, you know, glazing liquid with the paint. So... I did that technique over the top thinking I would, could fix it that way and it didn't work. So now I'm having to improvise and try to figure out how to recover from this crappy page I worked on. So I am just tearing strips of masking tape right now. I had already done that on the previous cover up and then did the glazing liquid over it. And again, it just it, it didn't turn out good. So I'm adding texture right now with this masking tape. And I am going to go over this with just so. And just kind of start over. So I guess the thing is don't give up on a page just because you think it's crap because that happens to me a lot <laughs> and a lot of times I'll also just keep my journal page the crappy page I won't do anything to it but this one was such a train wreck that I decided I wanted to just fix it so I've covered it all with masking tape now and I am going to go in with gesso and completely cover this up But at least I'll still have the texture of the masking tape underneath it. And the reason why I'm putting the gesso on it is because the masking tape, when you paint over masking tape, it has a tendency to beat up. So, and not to mention I had this blue mess under, turquoise mess underneath it that I, I need to cover up anyway, so... That is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to dry this and I'll be back. Oh man, I just missed a complete segment on my recording. I thought I'd hit the record button on my camcorder, so you guys just missed the step I just did. After I had gessoed the page, I went in with the turquoise phthalo, however you pronounce it, of this. And I took some glazing medium, and li glazing liquid, mixed the equal parts together and spread that color on. But before I did that, I had adhered a paper napkin down, this little peacock, and um, I had adhered that down and then painted around it. I can't believe that didn't record. You guys missed some really witty repartee. No, really. <laughs> okay, so that totally is a total stinker. But anyway, so now it's, it's dried and um, now I'm moving on to the next step and I've double checked. I am recording this time. So I decided what I want to do is I want to go in with 
some gold leaf. I had this left over from a frame that I had um, changed the color on and I used this gold leaf. This is before I even started crafting. Last October I had done this. So um, I had this metal leaf just laying around and I was like, I wanna use this. So I'm gonna use it on this page. So I'm just taking this uh, metal leaf adhesive and I'm gonna just randomly go over the um, I gotta find a brush though. I'm just gonna randomly apply this adhesive over the page and lay this metal foil down, metal leaf, and just wherever it hits, sticks, it sticks. So, but I gotta find a brush now, figure out. Gotta figure that out now. Um, okay. I'm having a hard time finding a brush here. Okay, I think I'm just going to use this one. This is all bubbly because I just shook it. I'm just going to randomly draw some squiggly lines. This adhesive will have to set up. And get a little tacky so that uh, I can put the metal leaf down so and I think I think that's gonna be it okay so I'm gonna let that dry and get tacky and um, yeah, I'll come back. Okay, this is uh, set up, got tacky enough. I am going to come in with another brush and just pick up this leaf and get it spread around the page. Okay, this could be time consuming. So, I'm gonna finish this up and come back. Now, I think I am going to take, I don't think, I know, I am going to take, I have the um, Impression Obsession Crackle cover a card stamp, and I've also got their uh, rocker mount as well. And I think I, I'm going to stamp with stays on ink. Ooh, this pad isn't very juicy. I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. I am going to stamp some more texture into this page. Well, not more. I haven't even stamped on it yet, but I'm going to stamp some texture on this page. There, I spit it out. So, I hope this is gonna turn out. And you know what, I don't want anything to get on my peacock. So I'm gonna make sure. Oh, I like that. Ooh, neato. Yikes, it looks like it's all cracked. Ooh, I love that. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ink up just the right side of this stamp right now to get in that corner. Yowza! That turned out a lot better than I thought. Ooh wee ooh wee! Something went my way for a change on this crapping page I had to fix. 
I'm in my happy spot right now. Wahoo! Okay. Yowza! Hmm. I'm gonna go a little bit on the side now. Right here. <laughs> Chew, excuse me. Okay, wow, I really like that. I don't know if you can see this. But look at that crackle effect on top of that gold leaf. I think that is the neatest thing ever. I love that. I really like that a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore because I don't wanna mess it up. I said I usually go a little too far sometimes. Man, what the heck stuck? Um, but yeah, I love the way that just turned out. So now um, I'm gonna go find a quote on thinkexist.com because um, it's a peacock. I think I'm gonna try to find a quote. I love thinkexist.com because you can just enter a word and it brings up all these quotes that have that word in it. So since I have the peacock here, I'm gonna go look for a quote that has a uh, proud in it, like proud as a peacock, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna look for a quote and uh, I'll be back to finish this up. This Impression Obsession Crackle Stamp, I have a feeling is going to become one of my most favorite things to use in my journaling. I am very happy with that stamp. Anyway, I found a quote. I decided to go with the Voltaire. I don't know why I reference Voltaire a lot in my uh, journals. I must really like him as a philosopher or whatever because I've used a lot of his quotes in my journaling. Anyway, um, I picked a quote, we are rarely proud when we are alone. And I thought at first I was going to print this out and then cut up the text and put it on here. But I decided I haven't used um, my India inks in a journal page in quite some time. I used these a lot when I first started journaling and then I just kind of got away from it. So. Um, I think I'm going to try to figure out um, a color to use and I'm going to use my nib pen to write this out and I'm hoping it's going to come out. If not, I'm going to have to come up with some other alternative. But um, And I think I'm going to go with this tangerine color. So I think tangerine's a good complementary color for that blue green, turquoise, whatever. So all right. I am going to get my pen nib cleaner out first, so that's ready to go when I'm done. And shake this up real good. I do not like my own handwriting. As a matter of fact, I hate my handwriting, but I really try to use my handwriting in my journaling as much as I can. I just think it looks more personal that way. Okay, so I'm going to slide this in. And grab my ink. Oops, I haven't used this color yet. Protective coating is still on it. Okay. Get the ink off my fingers. All right, so 
I'm gonna dip this in here. Whoa. It was foamy on top. Clean that foam off. Yeah, it looks super foamy. Doggone it. Okay, and I guess I'll just start. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's going to show up. Well, I'm going to have to go over this. Whoa. Okay, now i got to clean up. Alright, I'm going to have to fidget with this. And, um, I'm going to fidget with this because this is going to be a little time consuming. Um, so I will be back after I have got it done. Take two. I had to wipe the uh, India ink off because I decided I just did not like it. So I'm going in with a Tulip Slick Rider, which I use a lot. I was trying to start using other mediums for writing instead of this because I do tend to use this a lot, but it's because it stands out so much. So I'm just going to freehand this and hope it comes out okay. Because this isn't as easy to come out as that uh, India ink. We are I hate writing R's. Oops. <laughs> My handwriting stinks! We are... Rarely... Proud... I've got this bulky, I've got this page all on its own here flat because I wanted to be able to write flat. I've got a lot of bulky stuff in my journal. So I am keep hitting this so it's getting kind of hard to write. And then I always like to reference the author if it's known. So I'm just going to write Voltaire. Okay. There we go. Now I am just going to date this, let it dry and call it a day thanks for watching you guys